Thanks, Ron. Jeanette Woodward of the Owensboro River City uh, Kennel Club is here to bring us up to speed on all the details of the championship dog show that is back. It's here for yes. years and years and years. Yes, I think about 20 years to be exact in Owensboro, but we've been doing the show much longer. We just used to do it in Louisville. Well, it, it really is a big deal. I, t I told Jeanette before we came on the air, I happened to be there a couple of years ago, and I'm going, what's going on? All these gorgeous animals everywhere. There are a lot of people and animals. Yes, I think we have over 800 dogs entered um, on Friday and Saturday for sure, and 700 uh, plus on Thursday and Sunday. And what most people don't understand is the dog show goes for four days, but each day is a new show. And so each show each day is a new competition. Well, how do we get a list of the, the shows and, and what we might be interested in seeing? Well, you can go to our Facebook page, actually. Um, it's orckc.com, I believe. You can get it off of our website. Um, and our Facebook page, we've posted it as well. Tell our audience some of the things that they'll see. What kinds of uh, exercises do you put the animals through? There's lots of different things to see. Now, what most people are used to seeing at the dog show is what we call the beauty pageant uh, <laughs> confirmation. And that's where basically the judge is going over the dog, looking at the dog, checking its grooming, its structure, etc., to see if, if it's breeding quality, basically. You're, you're, they're competing for breeding rights and for that championship title. Um, we also have obedience going on on Saturday and Sunday. And on Saturday and Sunday, there's going to be a number of dogs competing in what we call rally obedience and traditional obedience. So you might see a dog off leash going on a directed jump when the handler puts their arm out like that. You might see um, a signed course where the dog and the handler go through the course and complete different little things that they do, like sits and stays and walk around the dog and figure eights and fun things like that. Um, in addition, Saturday night, we're having our puppy match, and that is so much fun. After the show's over, we have this puppy match, and these dogs that have less experience can come, and it's kind of a practice show for them. And it's so much fun to watch because you'll see kids, you'll see young dogs, and it's just a neat thing. And then on top of all of that, you know, you've got dogs being groomed and, and being getting ready for the show. So anywhere you walk on that show site, all over the convention center, you will see beautiful dogs. Yes, you will, and all around it too, and all the hotels are full and animals yes. are everywhere. How do we get our tickets? We, you do that when you come in. Admission is $3 for seniors, $3 for children, and $5 for adults. So it's really inexpensive and a great really air-conditioned fun. And one other thing I should mention, I almost forgot. We have vendors. So whether you are looking for fun things for your dog, or maybe you would like some things for yourself, there's some wonderful jewelry that will be available. There will be dog breed like clothing and accessories. It's just a lot of fun. And, and great for the whole family too. Yes, it's very family friendly. And you know, we encourage people, if you have questions, I'll be there, I'll be at admissions. I may be in ring part of the time when we do National Owner Handler. Um, but you can ask us questions, and we'll be happy to explain to you what you're seeing in the ring and what's going on. Thank you so much. Excitement in Owensboro. Have a yes. good week. Thank you. And when we come back, speaking of exciting, it's about time for 100 Men Who Cook Clay and Sarah are going to tell us all about it.